In my video explaining how to create some playing cards using an object pool, I mentioned that there was a way in order to put multiple objects inside an object pool, but I didn't know it at the time. Big shout out to the Kali for explaining how to do this, and I'll be showing you the method here. So if I select the object that has the object pool on it, we can see that I have all three cards. However, if I was to duplicate it in my cards, so we have like 12 or so, even at this size, it starts to get a bit annoying in order to do them individually. So what's the faster way of doing this? Well, we simply want to come up to the inspector and hit this lock button to lock the inspector. This means that we can select other objects and it won't change what's showing in the inspector. Using this, we can just select all our cards and drag and drop it into the name pool and we'll add them to our object pool. However, you may have noticed that cards 0, 1 and 2 are shown twice in our object pool. So how would you avoid this from happening? Well, when we dragged and dropped them in, we could have just selected the new cards that we had in order to avoid having multiple objects. However, now that the object array is a bit messed up, honestly, all I'd do is zero out the pool and then reselect my cards and drag and drop them in because it's pretty quick to do. And now that we have all the cards in the array and they only appear once. So this was a bit of a short tutorial, but hopefully you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials that I have on the channel. But until next time, bye.